We're back with the podcast. We're live once again. Yes, we're live once again, and today we have predictions for Double or Nothing happening with on Double Saturday. Or nothing, live from Jacksonville, Florida. Yes, from Daly's Place slash uh, whatever the freaking arena is called, <laughs> so uh, or whatever the stadium is called. So, you know, I said like last year, I said I feel like. Um, like in 2020, they would run a show at the, like at the uh, what's it called, the football stadium, and yeah, obviously, right. like you know, they can't have fans there. But technically, they're running a show at the football stadium, so that is going to be crazy. Do you want to start with ma- that match, or do you want to go from like whatever to? We'll okay. start with the proper matches right. and we'll way up. So pre-show, uh, we have private party. The uh, you know two biggest fans of party po- private party right here oh, versus right. the best friends Chuck Taylor and Trent. So uh, this is a tag team match to determine the number one contender for the AEW World this Tag is, Team Championship. This is probably actually going to be a good match. Usually they open with the battle royal, and the battle most battle royals have been hit and miss for AEW pre shows. So I think this will be a good tag match, and I think um, best friends will win, even I, though I want party to win. Yeah, I feel like this is more. I mean, like this entire show, for the most part, like I'm fine with either person winning in all these matches. But I, I think best friends will win. But then again, I could see private party winning. Like I could see either or. Like if they wanted to do something with private party, because best friends are kind of already like established, and private party haven't having that thing on being the elite. Um, so I mean, they're kind of like trying to push them up to the top. So, I mean, a tag team championship match. Against who's the tag team champions right now? Is that uh, still Hang- that's yeah. the Hangman and Kenny? Yeah. Okay, um, so I mean, and Hangman probably be really really good on TV main event. So yeah, so I feel like the private party might win this match. It is just a pre-show, so you know it is what it is. Uh, we have Dustin Rhodes versus the Sean natural, Spears, the natural versus the chairman. Chair this would man. be great live if we were there because we would be dumb marking out for this. Like we'd be saying jokes the whole time, but like. At home, it's going to be kind of whatever. Well, we're still going to be saying jokes the whole night, so it would be the same yeah. thing, but I know well, what you mean. But, like, yeah, if we're there live, it would be, it'd be a meme. I mean, if the chairman doesn't win, like, then what yeah, the heck is the point? Man, yeah. He hasn't done much at all. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I feel like he has to win, and I feel like, uh, I mean... You know, it's Dustin. Like, come on. Like, put over the young, the young talent. Perfect 10, so... That's that match. We have Dr. Burt Baker, DMD, versus Chris Stantlander. Honestly, I this mean... This is Tommy versus you. Uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, because, like, his number one is Sheeta, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, uh, I think it'll be a fun match, just because Chris Stantlander is just, like, a crazy character. Um, what do you That's think? Do you think... It's a weird stuff where she was touching everybody's noses. What happened to six feet? What happened to not touching? Can't Literally, do that anymore. She did that on she did that on Wednesday. Did she? Yeah. Oh, she should have did it with gloves. Well, she is she okay. Does she think she's an alien or is she an alien? Because I hear or I remember hearing that she thinks she's an alien. That's the whole gimmick. I don't know. The gimmick's kind of whatever to me. I don't really care that much. But I think um Britt Baker. Adam Cole's girlfriend will win. Yes, I think uh, I think so too. Obviously, um, so uh, leading off from that, I think Britt Baker will go on to face the winner of this no disqualification and no count out match for the AEW Women's World Championship. Nyla Rose versus Hikaru Shida. Tommy, I apologize if I messed up that name. I think Shida's going to win the title here. I think we're going to get a live reaction from Tommy of Shida winning the title. I. Um, Nyla Rose has kind of been whatever. Like, she won the title, and it's kind of been lackluster. Mm-hmm. Like, Rio was, like, she was okay, but, like, I feel like her matches were better. Like, obviously they were better. Mm-hmm. But, but, like, Nyla Rose comes out as just, like, oh, okay, Nyla Rose, you know, whatever. Like, she didn't do anything for me. Yeah, I think she is definitely going to win, win the title, and then, you know, maybe after that, like, Britt Baker... Or whoever wins. Oh, it would make sense for Baker. But Baker wins the match against Chris Statlander, and then she comes out and, you know. If, if, if um, Statlander wins and Nyla's winning, if Breaker wins, probably 
uh, Sheet is winning. Yeah, I, I could see that. I mean, like the Britt Baker match isn't like you know considered a number one contender match, but it makes sense because AEW is the greatest company in the world. Anyway, we have MJF with Wardlow. Low, dude. The versus Travis Jungle Boy. It's not even in a damn match. What? The travesty Wardlow is not even in a match. Oh, but like, is that his nickname? Yeah. huh? Is that his nickname? What do you mean? Oh, I, I thought you said the travesty. I didn't hear you said it's a travesty. It's a travesty that he's not in a match. Like a I side. Thought his, I thought his nickname was the travesty Wardlow. <laughs> oh, dude. Well, that would probably be a gimmick now. You know what's a travesty? And Jeff what? is probably going to win this match. No, um, I think Jungle Boy is going to win. So? Yeah, I think Jungle Boy needs a win. They've been building it I up. He's so. like, a, he's like a fifty-fifty guy, right? He wins and loses. Like, yeah, he's a five hundred guy. He needs to get that W on pay per view. Mm-hmm. And MJF is a heel, so you know he could lose. He could lose a couple. It doesn't hurt him that much. Yeah, he could say that he got like you know, whatever distracted yeah. or. Why should I? Why am I wrestling right now when there's a hole? And then we're gonna get a big boot from Luchasaurus, and they're gonna do whatever, and then yeah. and Jungle Boy is gonna get the win. We will get Wardlow versus uh, versus Luchasaurus somewhere down the road. That will be great. That will be great. You know, it also will be great. Darby what? All In, Colt oh, Cabana, Orange Casino. Cassidy, Ray Phoenix, Scorpio Sky, Kip Sabian, Frankie Kazarian, <sighs> Luchasaurus. And a mystery opponent. Now, here's the thing about this casino, casino ladder match, whatever they're going to freaking call it now. Um, here's the thing with this. So last night, I was talking to Ryan Falcone and Wrestling Radar. And apparently, this match can end at any time. At any point in this match, the person can climb up to the top and get the briefcase, the contract, the belt, the bottle on a stick. I don't know what's going to be in the, like in the middle of the ring. This match could end at any time. First off, that doesn't make any sense at all. I don't understand why they're just like having people come out one by one. I know they're trying to be different from a normal ladder match, but like there should be like a thing. Like I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Like so, you're saying that if like let's say if Cole Cabana and Darby Allen start off and Darby Allen dies on the outside of the ring and Cole Cabana is just standing there, Cole Cabana could like climb up to the top and get the thing. That doesn't make sense. Why would the people not be like waiting? Like why would the, you know what I mean? Like it just doesn't make sense. Like this is the first thing in AEW history where it just doesn't make sense. What do you think? I guess it's kind of cool where it'd be like the opposite where you want to get the the first two spots versus the last spots. Yeah, I mean. Uh- but I think, I don't know who the mystery guy's going to be. Maybe it could be, you know, Pentagon. Where's Pentagon on the show? He's not there. Maybe it could be, uh, what's his face? Pac, dude. Pac's not on the show. Uh, you think you think they're going to freaking, I, I said freaking like three times already, sorry. Um, you think they're going to fly Pac, Pac all the way from wherever he is to here? Oh, wait, is he still in a um, thing? Oh, I don't know. No, yeah. they're, they're, they're a travel ban. I don't know. I don't know who they're going to fly in. I feel like okay. okay. Here's what I'm thinking. I think that it should be. It should be Pentagon. What? It should be Pentagon. It should be Pentagon, but I feel like they're going to. It's going to be one of those like, like Releases? people that just got fired from WWE. They don't have 90 days. They don't. Their 90 days not even over yet. Well, I feel like it's going to be someone who just got fired from WWE. I'm okay. expecting Pentagon, but. I, you know, like, I just feel like that could be something they would do. Someone local in Florida. I don't know who they, I don't know who they get. I mean, gets a big, well, not a pop, but like a big reaction for people watching. You know, it doesn't make sense. The 90 day rule. If you get fired from your company, like you really have like a 90 day, like, is that a thing in everywhere? It's weird because they pay you. So like you're doing nothing for 90 days and getting paid. Yeah. Is I mean, that, that doesn't make any sense. Like, oh, by the way. We're not paying you, and you can't work there ninety days. It's like in this, it's this weird thing where when they fire you, they're like, "Oh, we'll still pay you," but they don't want to get that hot like that thing in the nineties where what's it called? Who who jumped ship? They were like on TV. Uh, was it Lex Luger? Like he was on Raw one night, and he was on Nitro, like the pay per view or the Nitro or Raw and the Nitro. I don't know, but mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, something like that. They want like a gap. They don't want to be like, "Oh my god, this guy got fired," and then after they show up the next night or the next week somewhere else. And they're like super over. Okay, so I'm going through the people on this match. Okay, so Darby Allin is just in this match to jump off the top ladder, you know, do the backdrop hey, thing. Moxley, 
But then I feel like that's kind of a waste. I, I, I feel think... like when he faces for the championship, it should be like a big deal. It should be. So so I, I feel like he's just in this match because he's going to do the backdrop off the top of the ladder. Orange Cassidy is in this match because he's Orange Cassidy and Orange Cassidy. I, I don't know how to speak. Orange Cassidy should be in every match. That's why he's in this match. Ray Phoenix, I could see winning. Ray Phoenix, Ray Phoenix is in this match to make this match minimum four stars. Yeah. I mean, I could see him winning, but he like I don't think he's going to win. Scorpio Sky yeah. already had his uh, already had his like title chance. Yeah, so he's uh, not going to. Frankie Kazarian, I don't think they're going to give it to him. Yeah. That'll be kind of a waste. That's another waste. Luchasaurus, I could see Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus could win. I could feel. I feel like Luchasaurus could win. It'd be, think, it'd be a good match. I think he could win. Cole Cabana, I'm not putting it. I'm not putting it like to bed that Cole Cabana isn't going to win. I think he has the chance to win. I think he has got a better chance to win than the TBA. Uh, okay. I'm just saying that because I'm a big Hulk Cabana fan and I would really like for him to win this match. But who I think will win, I think Kip Sabian's going to win. Kip? I think Kip Sabian's going to win. You know why I think he's going to win? Because we could have met him for like $10 at StarCast last year. And we're going to, he's going to win the match. What? He's not going to be that over the next StarCast. It'll be $15 max, maybe $20. He's going to win the match. And then he's going to go face John Moxley. So. I, uh, race. I'd rather have if the Pentagon's a TBA, I'd rather have him win and then Moxley a P- Pentagon, bro. That's a big match. I know. I just have a feeling. I don't know. There's something about him on the top of the ladder. He flipped off Orange Cassidy. Like, I don't know. It really I, makes you think. I, I think TBA is gonna win. I think so too, but I'm just saying Kip Sabian just because like I wanna <laughs> like I wanna have that on record. So um, yeah, I think TBA, whoever it might be. Off the cater and say TBA is Pentagon and he's winning. Okay. I don't know who. I, I'm still going to go with it's a former WWE guy. All right. I don't know why. But um, so, I mean, Pentagon versus John Moxley would be good. Do you think Bordy Lee has any chance in the world to win this match against John Moxley? Uh, no. Like, why? It doesn't make sense. It's too quick. Like, he just won the title. Like, yeah. I know they're trying to build this Dark Order thing as, like, taking over the company, but it's weird. It's like, okay, um, John Moxley wins. He already beats the Dark Order. But Brody Lee wins. He kills John Moxley's, like, title reign, or it's, like, so fast. Like, people want this. But I think Moxley's going to win. I don't think, I don't think Brody Lee's going to win. And I think this match will be, like, Mid tier at best. I don't think this will be a great match. I'm not. I'm not anticipated for this match. Like it's going to be like a big time match. If Brody Lee is going to win, please don't make it be the main event. That's all I ask. Like I don't oh, think it's going to be the main event. This but... is definitely the main event. What? Like this is definitely not the main event. Oh yeah, yeah. The other match is so. Ca- it's like putting the the boneyard match on. And then anything else after. It's like putting the, like how they did a Mania this year. They put Firefly Funhouse. And then they put like the other matches, like the Divas was a women's match after that. And everyone's oh. like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, that didn't make sense. But I don't know. I, I, I obviously, I think John Moxley's going to win. I should probably pull out my John Moxley t shirt for this show. Um, just, you know, actually, probably I shouldn't because I probably would jinx it anyway. Big old Mox. Hey, if you lose it, you have like a mem- commemorative shirt, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a rare shirt that they happen to sell the next day. Anyway, the tournament final for the first ever AEW TNT Championship. We have Lance Archer with Jake Roberts Luke's, versus Cody. If we could never meet wrestlers again, that will be Luke's last ever wrestler he met. Lance Archer. Um, here's the thing. I want Cody to win. I think he's going to win. If he doesn't win, I will be mad online. Justin, what do you think? Cody ain't winning. Stop. No Don't way. tell me that. They're Don't building tell. Lance Archer to be a monster, and he needs to beat Cody. Cody's not going to win the title. It's too early for him to win a title. The only time he should win a title it was the world title, and that's it. But, like, come on, dude. Like, I mean, they have that stupid stipulation with him where he can't win the world title that obviously they're going to get out of one day, even though they're like, no, we're not going to get out of it. Like, give Cody one win. Like, let Cody win this one time. You know what I mean? Like, have Cody win, have him make the TNT championship mean something, and then have him lose it to Lance Archer. Lance Archer can go and face John Moxley for the championship. Like, 
Just TPA, is he going to lose mid show and then show up in the ladder match? I mean, if that means that Cody is going to be the champion, by all means, by all means. Actually, I like that better. Let's have that. Cody wins the TNT championship. Lance Archer goes into the casino ladder match, even though that's probably going to be on first, and he's going to win that match. And he's like, he'll just like walk in at the end. Like he'll walk in at the end. Everyone will be down on the ground, and then he'll just walk up to the top. He'll take the thing. Bada boom. There you go. All right. I think I think Cody's losing. I think Lance is winning. Spin zone. What do you think if TBA is that ten character that they the um, the Dark Order has been pushing, and then he wins that match, and then Brody yeah. Lee gets another championship match, match or something? That would be kind of a pop out because then if if, you, if he wins, you know Brody Lee is losing. Yeah, but. I don't know. Anyway, so the main event, honestly, the thing that sold me on this entire show in the first place, this, we have. This is the monster. This is like, this is the War Games Unleash, essentially. Matt Hardy and the Elite versus the Inner Circle in a stadium stampede match. Justin, what is a stadium stampede match? They are going to brawl all over the damn stadium. We're going to have gimmicks. We're going to have funny moments. We're going to have crazy spots. And hopefully this is pre-taped because I don't want to see this live with all the weird cameras. Like This better be edited down and down to the science. You know what I mean? Yeah. Be clean. This is going to be mint. This is going to be no less than five stars or bust. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> This is the fight. Every AW ma- every a- every AEW show has this one match, and this is the match. Five stars or bust, and the elite's gonna go off on go out on top. I mean, this match, like, I mean, I don't think I've been this excited for a match in a long time. Like, this is putting together. Like the possibilities of what the Boneyard match and the um, what the Cena match was, um, this is putting together the Money in the Bank match. This is taking. They had time to watch all those things and to take little bits and pieces of what they liked and what they disliked and mix them into their own little thing. And they're going to do it in a stadium, a football stadium where Blake Bortles once reigned supreme. There, like, okay, think about this. The Young Bucks did a uh, the Young Bucks explode match with three camera guys at the at their house, and that was like amazing. That was incredible. So imagine with, like a whole production crew doing this, and there's like more masterminds into this plan. If this isn't the last entire hour of the show, I mean, like you're missing out. Like you know what I mean? Like you're missing out on what could have been. Like I, I'm I'm so. I think it'll go 30, 30, 45 minutes. I think it'll go 45. Like, I'm so excited for this match. It's ridiculous. Like, they had the paint on the field already. They had the AEW logo in the middle, and they had the inner circle and the elite logos in the end zones. I mean, this is going to be awesome. I'm super excited. I've never been more excited for a match than I am right now. This is going to be awesome. And I hope that we come back and we talk about how great it was because I'm hyping this up a lot. And, you know... You never know. And we will be a live stream of this whole show. So if you're bored at home and want to watch with someone, come watch it with us. And I'll be marking out. I was marking out during that that Money in the Bank match. It's not the Money in the Bank match, Justin. It is the Casino ladder match for a future AEW World Championship. Get it straight. All right, whatever. I'll be marking out out all night long. And all, all the inside jokes will be up online finally. And with that, I think that's it. So, so what do you think? Five stars or bust? Yeah. Will it be a five star or will it be a bust? Tune in Saturday to find out. AW. We're not getting paid for this, but it's going to be fantastic. All right, that's it. Nine ninety nine. What? Thirty nine ninety nine. Thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah. I thought it was fifty. No, Fight TV. Thirty nine ninety nine. Oh well, see, I don't have Fight TV. We don't have Fight TV here. Oh, all right. We have BR Live, so it might be more on BR Live. Oh, all right. Well, check it out. All right. Well, there it is. <laughs> there it is. We'll talk to you again after a while.